Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at GTA 5 running on Intel HD 620 and Intel UHD 620 graphics. This is on a Core i5-7200U and i5-8250U, so 7th and 8th gen uh, entry-level Core 5 i5s on the uh, U series of 15 watt chips and what we can see here is through these tests we have around about a 10% advantage for UHD 620. Both the graphics architectures should be uh, the same in terms of units and how the graphics chip itself actually operates or oh, sorry the graphics portion of the chip actually operates um, but what we do have is just some process optimizations as they've moved from KB Lake to KB Lake refresh and that appears to have presumably given a slight advantage to the clock speeds that the graphics core can run uh, more consistently on UHD 620, and that yields a small performance improvement. This does mean that on the 8th uh, gen chip, the game averages over uh, 30 frames per second. We average 31 versus 27 over the final portion of this test run. Um, there were a couple little pauses on UHD 620 as it loaded in in a couple places. And if we'd rerun and it hadn't had these, uh, then the results may have been even more favourable for the 8th gen. Uh, but I, as that happened in the test run, I've kept that in just so people can see the difference. Um, but we will see it as we move away from the plane here and into the car portion of this test. You will see there are a couple little loading pauses here, which the 7th gen chip doesn't have. Um, like I say, that may have just been down to the individual run. But again, we'll see here it pauses. And that causes the 8th gen chip just to fall slightly behind where it is in the test. Um, so they go slightly out of sync. Uh, but generally frame rates are, and the actual motion of the video as we're watching are a little higher on the 8th gen chip. And it just gives not a vastly improved experience in this title, but just a little bit smoother and a little bit easier to play. I hope you found this video useful and be sure to let me know what you'd like to see us testing in the future in the comments below and subscribe if you'd like to see our new videos as we post them. Thanks for watching.